A Charlotte piano teacher is charged with felony crimes after her daughter accused her of years of sexual abuse. Sandra Heiler is out on bond as she awaits her next court date. Heiler's daughter says for years her mom has been going by an alias and working at a South Charlotte piano studio. She told our Brandon Goldner she's worried there may be other victims. Brandon joins us with this defender story you'll only see here on WCNC Charlotte. This is the path Anya ran as often as she could growing up. Two and a half miles long. Sometimes I'd get there in like 20 to 30 minutes. To this Barnes and Noble to quench her endless curiosity. And every time kids came through her house to learn piano from her mom, she peppered them with questions. What do they do? What do they learn? What does this happen? How does this work? But she says she saved one question for her mom, Sandra Heiler. I was watching movies, you know, there's couples and they're holding hands, they're making out, they're doing all these things. And I put together that that's what my mother was doing to me. And I simply asked her, do you like like me? Since she was a toddler, Anya says her mom sexually abused her. Sandra Heiler is now facing multiple felony counts of second degree sex offense and indecent liberties with a child. According to Anya and a former client, as well as court documents and online records, Sandra Heiler's been living here under the assumed name of Kiko Allo, teaching piano to children at Allegro Studios in South Charlotte. When her family moved here from Bend, Oregon, Anya says her mom told them them, they all had to change their names. She says her mom falsely accused their father of abuse. My father is this really bad man and we got to go on the run now. Oregon court records show he was arrested in 2003. All but two of the charges were ultimately dismissed. In North Carolina, she says her mom told her because of her father, she couldn't attend school despite Anya's pleas to learn. She says the abuse continued at their new South Charlotte home. But as she took it upon herself to read and write, she says she kept on asking questions. Why did they leave? What was her father really like? After she was old enough to move out, she began searching for him and found him last August. And one of his first few questions was, did she abuse you. Her next step, talking to CMPD detectives who ultimately arrested her mom in January. She has her face attached to her real name and it's documented and shouldn't be allowed to continue working with children. Tyler's home address on court documents is the same address as Allegro Studios. The website only lists the name of Randy Jones. State and county records show Jones owns both the house and the business. Jones is not facing any criminal charges. Anya wants her story shared to help others going through traumatic experiences. Do you feel that she conducted inappropriate behaviors with children? Most definitely including students that she taught? Yeah, I know I wouldn't be comfortable if I had my kids go through that experience. We went to Allegro Studios to talk to Hyler. Jones answered the door. We asked him if he was aware of the allegations against Hyler. I mean, I, I am aware of them at this point, but um, I, I personally believe that these are uh, false. He said he would pass our contact information to Hyler's attorney. Is she still teaching uh, kids? Anya is now also teaching piano. She says she learned on her own despite living with a piano teacher. It's that curiosity which she says continues to motivate her every day. So a lot of people ask me, why am I not traumatized as much as the average person? And I'd say curiosity. We still have not yet heard back from Sandra Heiler nor her attorney. Again, Jones is not facing any criminal charges. We'll keep following this story as Anya believes there are more victims. Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte.